Managed Motorway All Lane Running is a new design concept with brand new design standards. Uh, it's also a more technology based uh, construction approach with a lesser than usual amount of civils uh, construction work involved. Um, it also drives a new and revised approach to uh, how future maintenance will be undertaken in the all in running environment. And of course, it's also going to present uh, a, a new circumstance for road users in the future to become familiar with. The exciting and challenging aspect of this for, of this for us in, in, in SBBJV Connect Plus and Connect Plus Services is having been working with the Highways Agency jointly at the spearhead of the, of the new ALR concept uh, from the outset. We were originally undertaking the design of the schemes based on the previous dynamic hard shoulder managed motorway solution uh, until that changed early in 2012 when the new uh, managed motorway all in running standard uh, was published by the agency. Our ability to achieve this at such an accelerated rate has been the result of a continuous period of quite intense collaboration between Connect Plus, Connect Plus Services, SBBJV and our designer Atkins uh, working very closely with the Highways Agency team uh, to coordinate the several challenges that we've, that we've all faced collectively in getting the projects advanced to, to this stage uh, by, this, by this point in time. We've now completed the majority of the detailed design for the projects and we're well advanced in the construction of, of both managed motorway projects on the M25. Uh, one of our current major challenges now is achieving a, a state of operational readiness so that the schemes can be fully opened uh, to the all lane running configuration without any delay upon the completion of the construction phase and there's a tremendous amount of uh, collaborative effort being invested in that by, by ourselves at SBB uh, with Connect Plus, the Highways Agency, Connect Plus Services in the development of those uh, very important operational procedures that will enable the schemes to be safely opened uh, to public use. Well success for me looks like being able to complete the two managed motorway all in running schemes on the M25 on or ahead of programme and on or within budget and at the same time hopefully exceeding the agency's expectations in terms of the standard of the delivery of those two projects. Um, but above all, the main definition of success for me will have been having been able to achieve that uh, safely and without having injured or hurt any of our people in the process or any other party that we interface with in the course of our activities because sending home our people safely every day is our first and foremost priority. The main, the main challenge in delivering the later upgraded sections of the M25 is that there is an extensive uh, amount of civil engineering works to do in a very confined site, but in doing it you've got to keep the motorway operating three lanes in each direction up to 200,000 vehicles a day around you. So you've got to plan your works in such a way that you can access the works, move equipment and materials in and out, and move your men in and out. And with, with regards to the men, you have to be sh careful, be sure that you've got the right welfare facilities for them in the right locations. We have a really great safety record here on, on the LUS. Um, here on Section 2, we've worked over 750,000 man hours without a serious reportable accident. But we can't allow ourselves to be complacent. We have to realise that the risks are there, the hazards are there. And so we work hard to keep the guys on their toes, make sure they don't become, become complacent, and we're going to work hard to make sure we keep our record through to the end of the job. A key development that we've been working on on this project, both with the Highways Agency and Connect Plus, is to put arrangements in place to reduce the risk that traffic management operatives are put to when maintenance works are required. So we, we are developing and we will be installing remote control signage to reduce the, the number of times that traffic management operatives have to go onto the road to put temporary signage in place. A successful project for me will be getting to the end of the job without hurting anybody. Zero harm. We are all committed to it, but we have to work, work hard to make it happen. Other key measures of success will be achieving our programme, beating it if we can, and coming in within budget. But principally, it's making sure we don't hurt anybody. We've based our program uh, on the outputs that we achieved for operations on the previous widening section. Uh, generally, uh, we're working 24 hours. Some of the operations at night are by necessity where we need the additional lane closures. Um, 
others are by choice where we need to improve the outputs uh, and an example of that is uh, slip form concrete pavement where the real key is that we've got to get the concrete to the machine to do that during the day with 150,000 vehicles passing your works is very difficult at night when the traffic flows are lighter we can get the deliveries in there and we're achieving industry leading outputs of 270 uh, linear meters a day on the slot drain day in day out uh, throughout the job for the whole of the 15 kilometers of the first phase of the central reserve one of the key safety initiatives that we've continued on from the widening project is the enhanced daily safety briefings these are really about getting out every day with a different group of people and engaging with the work teams that we've got out on site ensuring that they've got everything in place correct uh, but particularly looking at the briefings that have been carried out ensuring not only that they've had briefings carried out uh, pre-shift and pre-change of operation but it's also the quality of the briefings. It, we're absolutely passionate about getting the guys briefed, understanding what needs to be done out there is key to keeping everybody safe. Our success is underlined by the collaboration that we've achieved between all parties and that's uh, the construction joint venture, Connect Plus, the highways agency, our designer and the supply chain. We need to be able to uh, work together to ensure we can achieve swift resolution to any of the merging issues that we have on site. So what does success mean to me? Well, it's really quite simple. It's to finish the first MMALR project ahead of time, within budget, leave a delighted client, but most important of all is that we don't hurt anybody in the process. Apart from what we're doing at the moment, a lot of the work has been done already with um, the work that the highways agency did uh, during the designing, ensuring that the road was as safe as possible for road users and CP in developing a design which will be safe for road workers going forward. Um, and a number of the facilities that uh, CP have introduced into the MMALR have now been included in the revised standard that the agency have uh, just recently issued. Uh, these include the provision of a vertical concrete barrier in the central reserve which on the MMALR for the M25 Connect Plus actually paid for. Um, re taking out um, the street lighting, uh, reducing the number of uh, drainage chambers and providing uh, Wavetronic radar detection as opposed to uh, inductive loop detection in the carriageway. All those measures have uh, helped to reduce the exposure of road workers to traffic when MMLR operates. What would success look like? Well I think we would recognise success if we could look at the MMLR and be satisfied that there was no increase in risk to road worker or road user safety and that we couldn't differentiate our performance on the conventional motorway sections as opposed to the MMALR sections.